What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I am super excited to bring you Animal Super Squad today. Now, Animal Super Squad is a game that just came out on Steam today. The I believe it's the 2nd of November. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Actually, I think it's the 1st. Um, but uh, Animal Super Squad is one of those sort of uh, obstacle course, physics-based, funny uh, games, <laughs> for lack of a better term. But uh, I think PewDiePie had something to do with this game. I've heard rumors of that around, but despite the master of the YouTube being involved with this title, we're going to take a look to see how it stands on its own merit. So let's jump right in here and take a look. So under options, I was happy to see that there's actually quite a few different options on display here as far as some audio tweaks and some different controls that you can, uh, you can set up to your own liking. There's an editor, a level browser, and then there's playing the adventure. I played the first level just to get a look at it, make sure it runs okay on my system. But we'll go ahead and we'll do that first level again. So we start off as the e Pollo. And El Pollo is making his way down a fancy machine to a conveyor belt. And then we can use the left and right trigger to move our character. <laughs> and, uh, and you can jump with the X button. So here we go. Very reminiscent of Donkey Kong's barrels there. I love it. Oh, I want the banana. And I got it. The music's very cute. I like it. Oh, I almost got crushed. And we are inside of our automobile. Now with the automobile, you can change the angle um, with your joystick, left joystick. Oh no! Oh man, I wanted the special stuff that was up there. The controls are very responsive, which I really like, and is so important in a game like this. I don't feel like I'm having to fight the controls. Oh, oh, oh. And... Oh, we got a button. It says in the background to hit. Oh, okay, okay. So we activated it and that let us get past the obstacle. And we've got mines. And <laughs> my back tires are gone. Oh no. Oh, we're in rough shape here. I don't even know if I'll be able to Going for it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think we're done for. I cannot believe that I'm still driving this two wheeled vehicle. Come on, you can do it. New vehicle, new me. And we're getting out of the vehicle. Okay. I love how the chicken rolls. It doesn't walk. Okay. Oh, no! I'm afraid I died. So, I wonder if you can jump in midair with your jump. It doesn't appear so. Huh. Okay. We got this. We can do it. Okay, so jump is definitely the A button. Let me try to see if I can build up a little momentum and jump. There we go. <laughs> oh, is that the finish? Very nice. There we go. So this is the adventure mode. Select vehicle. Oh, that's awesome. Let's do the flush master. Oh, okay, it's the same vehicle that we had before. And we just, I think, teleport? Almost a little bit of uh, Angry Birds action there. I got this. I'm really enjoying how charming this is. I don't know who 
who was involved in this title or or you know I'm not I'm not even I didn't even look at the devs I'm so sorry that's so rude of me um, but uh, but I'm really liking whoever made this um, regardless of who was involved with the title it's it's a lot of fun and it, see the question marks back there <laughs> let's uh what do we what do we got going on over here? <laughs> I don't know if you guys have got to play uh, Destiny Two yet, but uh, one of the characters in Destiny Two takes a liking to this pet chicken that he finds, and for some reason, oh, we found something. All right, we're going for it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. The level design here is very creative. Um, it's it's a lot of fun to try to traverse the levels. Not sure if I can... Come on. <laughs> We're getting a barrel pile up here. Oh, I suck. I suck. Oh, no! Let's try this again. So when you hit a mine, it seems like you're guaranteed to lose at least one set of wheels. <laughs> Tell you what, you know what we're going to do? We're going to jump out. Wait for it now. There it goes. And go, 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 go. No! No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my poor chicken. Taking quite the beating. We're going to have to build up some speed here. So here we go. We're going to let it spin. I, I didn't do it. Oh, I just got it. <laughs> no, we're getting on top. Forget that noise. Oh man, I feel so like like a naked chicken tender without my vehicle. Throw another chicken on the bobby. Oh, I'm so sorry, chicken. Oh, I'm about to be pollo flambe. <laughs> you turn into a bucket of crispy chicken. And you can still... What? You can actually still play as a bucket of extra crispy chicken. Oh, I'm... I'm I might have to... Oh, no. Can I do it? Hold on. No, I can't. Oh. Okay. I started over. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Let's back this up. We can do this. I'm going to try to launch this over. Gap. I'm actually not going to use my thruster till right there. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, I might have to bail on the car. I feel like the car's going to get me killed here. And at no point do I feel like. I mean, I, I just I'm bad at this so far. <laughs> I don't feel like this is the game not controlling well. Oh, I completed it! So the difficulty escalated reasonably fast, which is to be expected for these kinds of games. Oh, let's see what pilots we got. So I had unlocked Ethan on my first playthrough. So let's switch over to, uh, let's switch over to Ethan here. <laughs> is he a sloth? I think he's a sloth. I love it. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on. His little arms. This is super clever. Oh, that's not clever, though. Okay, so Ethan. What did you turn into, Ethan? I can't tell what he... Uh, I've got the wheels from the car. They're, like, following me. Are you, like, a box of Chinese... He is. He's a box of Chinese food. 
Are they are they fond of sloths? I'm pretty sure sloths are endangered species. I don't know. I don't even know what day of the week it is, and you think expect me to know if a sloth is endangered or not. This is awesome. I, I absolutely love the art design. It is so fun. Yeah, I'm dead. No, I didn't. No, I did make it. I didn't make it. I did make it. <laughs> Jeez. Go, 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 go. Granted, this would be a lot faster if I had the vehicle. But we're not doing too bad. I can't believe I just made it through that flame section. I'm doing much... I, I'm, like, super nervous now because I feel like I'm actually doing pretty well. Oh, we, we, we definitely need that. Ta-da! Okay, so we've got mines there. So they kind of expect you to have the vehicle in this part because when you're just playing as a box of Chinese food... I can't believe I just said that. When you're playing as a box of Chinese food, it's it's pretty easy to to navigate this this portion. Oh, hello, robotic chimp. Uh-oh. Oh, this might... That actually just worked in our favor. Thank you for helping me. No way. Is that it? Oh, pufferfish! I want the pufferfish. No, 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 no. I want the pufferfish. I got Polk of the Puffer. <laughs> and... Checkpoint. So the title's $10. Um, <laughs> from what I'm seeing so far, yeah, yeah, it's it's worth it. Get away from fist. Might have some problems here. Let's see if I can build up some speed. That could have worked. Oh, you know what? I'm getting just freaking slapped around. Oh, I was hoping that the fist would send me, like... Yeah. No, not quite. There it is. I don't know if that's how you were supposed to do that obstacle or not. It doesn't matter. That's how we did it. And that's all that matters. Oh, I think it just squashed a banana. I'll see your banana. And... Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Oh, we're so freaking close. It weighs too much. Okay, that's okay. I know what to do. It's okay, guys. I'm up. about to get freaking roasted. I don't know what to do here. I lied. This has all been for show. This has all been a facade. How do I... I thought that would, like, launch me more. Am I supposed to do something with these bananas? <sighs> then I go back and it's like, oh yeah, yeah, no, all you had to do was just push a little harder. <laughs> you could see where if you were in the vehicle, this would actually be... Thank you? <laughs> this would be really difficult if you were in the vehicle. It's almost cheating with the time. That's the difference. If you're going for a for a fast completion time, you can't just do what I did, which is suck. Um, you have to be able to move quickly. Okay, let's back out really quick. And let's... Yeah, back to the menu. Yes, I'm sure. Let's look at the level browser. Now, I mean, this just came out, so my expectations here is pretty low. Um, I'll go ahead and use my mouse here to... Oh, by the way, I tried it with the keyboard on the first level before I started recording. Way easier with a controller, guys. Way, way easier. Prison Break, Vacuum Cleaner Menace. Become friends with Yellow Cloud and use your new buddy to solve some really frustrating puzzles. No. Short play where a freaking vacuum chases you. Are you brave enough? I am. Okay, so we lost our... Uh Oh, 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 we're gonna die. Yep, we're, we're gonna pretty much just... We're gonna die. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna die. Do 
20 seconds. I survived for 20, 20 seconds. This actually might be easier with the pufferfish. I suck. Jump it, time it just right. I timed it wrong. Can I escape? I can't escape. I mean, oh, and that's what killed me. I was gonna say, like, I'll just, I'll just ride this out. Look at that. That was freaking beautiful. Right now. Right now. Right. Right now. Oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Mm. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and torture you with this. Let's go back to the main menu. I'm going to jump into the editor really quick just to show you guys what it what it has uh, to offer. And that's going to wrap up this video. I'm going to keep this one really, really short. If you guys want to see more of me playing this game, then by all means, just let me know in the comment section below. And I'd be more than happy to play more of it. And I'm sure that I will get better as I go along. Uh, but you can see here... It's, it's a pretty easy uh, editor. You can go in here and you can pick different items that you want to place, add components. Let's see here. You can put glue. You can change the field of where you place stuff. Then we're going to put another conveyor belt. And can I use the keyboard to move? No. Can I just if I place it? I'm not, I have not messed around with it at all yet, but play the start, copy, paste. Anyway, I'm not going to sit here and, and try to figure it out right here with all of you guys watching me and judging me and saying how bad I am at it, but it's fairly intuitive. You've got a lot of different items to choose from. You can go ahead and you can choose how to put them in. You can adjust them and tweak them. Um, and then you can add different components to it and you can change all kinds of things from the scale to you can see there, because this is like the the main, I know I'm totally into this now, like I, I want to figure it out so bad. Anyway, I would say at this point for the fact that the game has a level editor, it's got all of the user made content that you can just browse and play, the fact that you've got multiple characters, different vehicles, um, there's a lot on display here, the music's a lot of fun, the graphics are colorful, there's graphical options, so it's not just some, you know, poorly put together game that somebody slapped together in Unity and is trying to grab a quick uh, buck off of it. No, it actually looks like there's a lot of care, attention, and time that went into this title, and I applaud the devs. It seems like something that's a lot of fun to play, and I look forward to playing this a lot more and figuring out this level editor, which... <laughs> Sorry, I have just this is the first time I've really opened it and looked at it. Um, but I'm familiar with these kinds of editors in the past, and they're a lot of fun to mess around with. And the amount of creativity that people can come up with and put into these levels that they create is just mind boggling. And then there's a lot of really bad ones too, which that's the fun is sorting between them and trying to find really good ones. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for stopping by, guys. It's always a pleasure to have you on e Electric Productions. I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode. And until then, game on, everyone. <laughs>